DHCP scope. What is DHCP scope? In one line, it is the start and end of the IP addresses which a DHCP server has that it can lease to the clients. DHCP is all about offering the network configuration parameters to the new net new computer joining and the existing computer in the system. So scope is the range of IP addresses, the amount of IP addresses, the pool of IP addresses that DHCP can offer to different clients. So DHCP scope is the range from here if you see here 1 to 100. So this is the range of IP addresses that are available to the DHCP server that it can lease out because the IP and network configuration is leased out, not permanently given. So to lease out to DHCP enabled clients on a given subnet. So why we are, uh, IP addresses are always there. Why we are learning scope? See, the, the, this scope allows a DHCP server to make different subnets. What it will do? From 1 to say 50, it will give to one subnet and 51 to 100 it will go to give to another subnet. So scope is typically defining a single physical subnet. You see in this diagram two subnet. So it, it is defining a single physical subnet on your network to which DHCP services are being offered. So the primary function is to decide which IP addresses the server gets to offer the client can give the client. So how does how does this work? This is the actual picture of your windows start IP address and end IP address. So this is the start and end. You can divide it. You can divide the scope in different ranges. So here you have the subnet mask also being given and there is a proper range that can be defined and that can be assigned to certain computers or it can be assigned to make a subnet that is net small network in a network. Right. So this is how subnet mask is used and whenever subnet, subnet mask is use, used that means a subnet or a smaller sub network is being made. So user can create many scopes as required on a DHCP server. You can have 10 of these scope or you can divide this range in 10 parts, 20 parts. It's up to you. Before building the first pool of available IP addresses, very important to plan it because you can have a server, you can have a router, you can have a printer. You can, you will not uh, give the dynamic allocation every time. You have to give a static IP address and network configuration to these devices like the servers, router, even print, printers, they are always static. But other computers which are coming and going, they can be dynamic. So whenever you want to assign to those which, those systems which everyone use and you don't want the IP address to change, then the static IP addressing can be employed here. So many administrator place all static statically assigned IP addresses at the front of the scope. Now let me give you an example how how you can do that. DHCP scope is how does we perform this scoping to make the subnet or to assign static and dynamic IP. So this is an example and you can have a scope address range for example here 192.168.2.0 the slash 24 this is 24 bits the first 24 bits are the network address okay now the static ip addresses in this example we can give like uh, from 2.1 to 2.25 that is you have used from 2.0 2.1 .2 to 2.25 you can give the static ip addresses to routers servers printers and other device which will which you don't want this ip address to be changed but very be very sure because you need to have some additional uh, devices. There can be more uh, printers that can be added. So that is how you have to make plan when you are actually doing the DHCP scope. The second thing is the dynamic IP addresses. So as I said, we have different uh, computers or clients which are going to join and which are going to leave. So these are the dy dynamic IP addresses and the network configuration which are which can be provided, which can be given to different clients.